Hey everybody, how's it going? I have a clone video for you today. For all you folks have been watching me, you know, I've been doing a lot of different sorts of subjects, uh, branching away from clone and things like that, doing music and books and video games and whatnot. But today I'm back with you with a clone review because that's what I wanted to do today. Um, hope you guys have been sticking with me, those that normally watch me for cologne. If not, you know, well, what are you going to do? Today I'm going to do a video, I'm going to do f uh, five really good Cuba colognes that are good for the fall and winter seasons. Um, I have a lot of Cuba colognes, if you're not familiar with them, they kind of famously come in a sort of cigar shaped bottle. They're very, very cheap, extremely cheap, and they're often cloning different th fragrances and things like that. So I have five here, like I said, that are good for this kind of season. I'll start with uh, one of my favorites, which is Cuba Grey. And if you get these bigger bottles, you'll see they come in this little tube. It's made of cardboard, but it's pretty sturdy. You can use this to put cell phone cords in or guitar picks like I do or whatever you want. And these are what the bottles look like. They look like big-ass Cuban cigars. Cuba Gray. Cuba Gray is trying to clone Calvin Klein's Eternity. Pretty uh, well-known cologne. Very uh, famous uh, men's designer cologne. I like it. I like Calvin Klein Eternity. You know, those kind of clones are kind of generic. They've been overworn, if you, you could say that. But I, I think it smells great, so I wear what smells great, right? And this one is a pretty damn decent clone. Um, the only... There's two downsides, really. And I, I will uh, put a disclaimer here. For all of these Cubas, for the most part, not very good performance, right? Now, they're not atrocious to the point where it's like 4711 or something. It, it, it's gone immediately. Uh, but they don't have great performance. Projection is can, kind of varies, but don't ever expect over an hour of projection, probably less than that. And performance is normally about four hours, I'd say. Not good. That's not good performance, but these are so insanely cheap. So you kind of get what you pay for in that aspect. But smell-wise, this one is a very good Calvin Klein Obsession clone, if you're aware of that cologne. Uh, lots, lots of lavender at the top. It's that beautiful lavender that I like. It's very masculine and a bit sharp. One could even say dirty. There's vetiver, there's florals. So this comes off um, very uh, dark, masculine, but also has a freshness to it. It doesn't come off very soapy or anything like that, but because of the florals and the lavender, it can be very fresh at the same time. Not in a citrusy sort of way or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I, I always call this one my rainy day scent, really good rainy day scent. Um, and I think that calling it Cuba Gray is a really good, uh, really good descriptor. This one smells just fantastic. I mean, if you know Calvin Klein Eternity, that smells pretty much exactly like it. The only thing is it's a little bit more synthetic than the original cologne. A little bit more, but not to the point where it smells terrible or anything. So, yeah, this one's good. Very much like this, and I'm probably actually going to wear this as my scent of the day. The next one is a little bit pushing it for the, the colder months, but I still think it's a good one. It's Cuba Brazil. Here's what the tube looks like and of course here's the cologne a green label i tried to really find out what this one was trying to clone but i couldn't find anything so perhaps this is an original creation and this is kind of like a unique sort of freshy cologne um citrus and fruit at the top i can't quite pick out what sort of fruit there is but there's definitely something other than like a citrus smell um but the reason i would say this one might work for the fall is because or the winter even perhaps is because there's like a, a spice in there, like a baking spice sort of smell, like cardamom or something like that. And there's woods and even maybe even a hint of tobacco at the base. So it keeps that a little bit more suitable for the colder months even. Uh, and if you're like me, like I wear a lot of rich, heavy colognes. And in these colder months, it starts to, it wears on you. Like they smell really good. They're my favorite styles of cologne. But you want something fresh and I want something other than like, um, Aqua de Joe, right? I want something with a little bit of a richness, but a little bit of freshness to, you know, change up my nose. So that's what this smells like. This one's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I wouldn't say it's as good as Cuba um, Gray because it's a, a little bit more synthetic, um, but it still smells pretty good. I picked this up for three bucks, three American dollars for this big thing of cologne. And I'd say it's pretty much worth it for that. Totally. I'd pay twice, probably even three times the amount for this and I'd be satisfied. In fact, I'd pay four, four or five times the amount, and I really wouldn't have a complaint. I mean, if this was 50 bucks, yeah, I'd have a problem, but for the price, I think it's pretty good. The others are very, um, very good for the fall that I'm going to show you. I have three more. These are totally for fall and winter. One, and these are all smaller ones. See, these are like 1.7. Pretty cool, totally looking like 
um, cigars now, right? Cuba Red, probably heard about this one. It's kind of supposed to be a um, Burberry London clone. I've heard a lot of people say that. Now, Burberry London's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, cologne. So I have it and I wear it all the time. This isn't like a total clone, but there are striking similarities mostly in the spice sort of smell, that mixture of spices and, and like port wine that you get from Burberry London. If you've worn Burberry London, you know, it just has a very particular, very unique sort of spicy, Christmassy sort of smell to it. And that has this, this is, this has that smell pretty well, but it has more of a tobacco smell to it, a dried tobacco. Now Burberry London has tobacco, but it's a little bit smoother. This is more heavy on the tobacco and woods. All right. It's a little bit bolder. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a perfect clone, and I've said before, like, when I run out of Burberry, I'll wear this, which is true. I still think this is very good, but it's not exactly a Burberry London clone. But if you're looking for something in the style of that, this is good. It smells very good. Got two more. I'll do Cuba Gold. Cuba Gold, I've probably talked about on... Actually, I definitely have talked about it on this channel. Probably the most famous Cuba clone of all time. Um, it's a Lamal clone, but it's not really a Lamal clone, right? It came before. It came before Lamal. And in di if you're aware of Lamal, the difference is there's less mint and lavender at the top of this. It's a little, I don't want to say fresh, but I guess a little fresh. This is a little more warm. This is a little more rich. Um, I get more vanilla. I almost get like an almond note from this too. I could never find an almond note listed in the description or the note breakdown, but I absolutely get an almond um, anise almost sort of smell. Smooth, very good. A little bit synthetic at the top, right? But this one's really good. And as a matter of fact, I might wear this as my scent of the day. This one is just amazing. I I like this more than Lamal, actually, because I like the warmth from, that I get from this versus Lamal. Yeah, it still has that elegant baby powder sort of vibe to it. But damn, this smells good. You can pick this up for like three, four, or five bucks. Probably cheaper, really, if you really look hard. Super cheap. Again, not great performance, but an absolutely amazing cologne if you like that sort of thing. This stuff smells awesome. You know what? Son of the day. Let's do it. I love that one. That is just a superb cologne. Uh, one thing, I'm going to break everything in front of you live. <laughs> Something I, I just noticed right now. Look at the cap. Cuba um, Gold's cap is gold, whereas Cuba Reds and probably all the others are uh, silver. Nice little touch. I like these bottles too. I'm not a big bottle person. I know a lot of people love designs and stuff. I'm not really big on it because it's just like the juice is what matters to me. But I have to say, I kind of think they're cool. Last one is Cuba Royal. I've done this one before like some of the others, but I figured I'd put it in there. If you buy these individually, you'll get them in these like weird little lipstick tubes. I got some of the others in a pack so they didn't come with these tubes. This is not a... 1 million clone because it came before 1 million, but it is very similar, extremely similar to Paco Rabanne's 1 million. And again, I prefer this one. I much prefer this to 1 million. The only downside is it just ha doesn't have as good performance as 1 million, but you're, I'm sure you're mostly familiar with 1 million, a lot of you. Um, what it does differently is it tones down the cloying sensibility, right? 1 million is kind of known as a clubbing scent, very loud, can come off too sweet and cloying and synthetic. This one tones that down a lot. Now it's not super, super weak. Like it's not like it tones it down where you can barely smell it. It just doesn't come off very cloying to me. And in addition, there's more woods. Some might say tobacco probably. And there's a heavy dose of vanilla, which is awesome. And the vanilla is that creamy baked good sort of vanilla that I like. Really good. This one is absolutely fantastic. You know, it's a little sweet, it's a little playful, but I think with that added vanilla, it fits really good in this season. It could be good for a date or like a cuddle up by the fire scent, that sort of thing. This one just smells really good, man. Um, some people have likened this to like 1 million Privé, which has more tobacco and has like a Merce kind of note in it and things like that. Uh, this one doesn't smell quite like that, but it's like an in-between of um, 1 million Privé and 1 million. So... Yeah, I love this one. I love One Million. I know that that's kind of a divisive scent now because it's kind of overdone. It's a kind of generic scent, but I've always just liked it. I think it smells really good. Um, that's it. Those are the Cubas I wanted to show to you today. Those are great for fall. All of these can be bought on Amazon or something like all totally under $10. Like I said, this one, big big thing I got for 3 bucks. So if you really look hard, you can get these insanely cheap. 
I hope that was helpful because there are a ton of Cuba colognes that are really good. There's plenty of others that I haven't tried. You know, they're, they are hit or miss to a degree, um, but the ones that are good are really good. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you like Cuba colognes and you have a bunch, let me know what you have and what you like. I like to hear your opinions and everything. I hope everybody's doing well. Peace the fuck out.